Bigad Plant 3D has some modification tools that you can use to either add uh, additional piping to, to the end of a pipe or maybe from the middle of the pipe or anywhere along that pipe, you're able to run another pipe off of it. So just like as you have in your 2D, when you select a circle, for instance, it gives you your grips in the middle and on the, on the edges. And, you know, those grips you know, on, the, on the edges on the north, south, east and west will allow you to, you know, make the, the circle go bigger or smaller. Um, or a line, you know, if you select the line, it shows you three grips, one in the middle, on, one on, on each end of the line, and allows you to either stretch or lengthen that line. Or, you know, if you select the grip in the middle, it allows you to move that line as well. So in AutoCAD plants, what I'm going to do over here is if I select this, you'll see that it's got a whole lot of grips as well. And also in a different color, sort of a turquoise color. If you worked with uh, dynamic blocks, you'll you'll notice the, the coloring of this. So it's kind of like a dynamic block. So if I go to this drop down arrow over here, it tells me that I can, if I had more options for pipes, so if I had other six inch pipes, it would have given me an option for six inch pipes over there. If I select the end over here, it will actually allow me to go and create additional piping. Now, it's not allowing me to go up because my plane is incorrect. And for this, I can you know hold down control and right click and you'll see that it changes the plane. If I hold down control and right click again, it changes the plane to that over there. So it goes through your X, Y, uh, your X, Z and your Z, Y axis over here. Now, if I wanted to, you know, sort of bring in a, a pipe, you know, coming through the middle over here, you can see there that I can start from the middle. So if I press tab, you'll notice that it will highlight the different uh, numbers over there. So I'm highlighting two, three, six, five on the left hand side. And that distance is from the middle of your, um, your, your T to the end of the pipe. So if I say, for instance, wanted that to be say 3000, okay, do not press enter, otherwise it will set it. I press tab and it allows me to continue modifying this pipe over here. Now, the one question that I did get about pipes is, okay, so I don't want a, a, a T over there. You know, I don't want a fitting. I actually just want to stub it in. Okay, so how do we do that? So once again, if I right click, you'll see that I've got the stub in option over here. <clears throat> so if I click on stub in, you'll see there it allows me to give uh, different angles. And the glass is at 45 degrees over there. Now, that is now stubbed in. So, you know, how do we check this? If I click on my, look at my realistic view to my, my 2D wireframe, what you will notice is that it actually goes all the way through. Now, I mean, that's a little bit of a concern if you've known any other 3D programs, you know, that going into the middle, that, that tells me that, well, it's, it's not a stubbing, you know, it's not cutting anything like that. But uh, this is the way that, uh, that AutoCAD plant works. It's also how the visuals work as well. One thing that tells me that it has been done correctly is there's no water droplet there. If there was a water droplet, then what would have happened is there it would have uh, yeah it would have had a it, it would it'll tell me that it's actually not um, you know not not stubbed in. Um, it's actually it's not connected to that pipe at all. So if I had to uh, you know do an isometric of this, okay, then I would be able to see that it actually is is working properly because if it wasn't connected, then it, it wouldn't show on the ISO. So I'm just going to go to my properties quickly, and then I'm just going to give this a pipe uh, pipeline number. So I'm going to right click and let's go to add to selection and connected line number. So what that does is it'll just connect everything on that pipe over there. And then under my properties, I can go to my line number and let's say new line number. And I'm going to make this just, let's be original, one, two, three, four. Okay, and assign that. Okay, so from this over here now, I'm going to create an isometric. So if I go to my isometrics over here, let's go maybe do a final A3. Right click and let's do a production ISO. And there's all the different line numbers I've got in this plant drawing. I'm going to say one, two, three, four. And let's go and create. Okay, so we just have to be a little bit of patient and then the it will a little pop up for us. Okay, so the isometric has been created. I go to my folder where it's been created and there's the drawing. Double click on it to open and it brings up my isometric. And as you can see there, 
it has created the isometric over there with that 45 degree uh, or what angle is that now? 45 degree angle uh, coming out on my, my pipe over there. Okay. So basically that's how you, you, you can create a, a stubbing pipe. Um, and also what we took a look at is just some of the modification grips that you do have in Autocad Plan 3. Thank you very much for watching.